In this CAD clip we're going to talk a little bit about um, using the 3D snapping tool with the beam tool in our Revit uh, 2014. So I've got some columns in here so I'm just going to kind of stretch these up and down just to kind of get some different sizes and exaggerate the situation a little bit. Uh, that guy's short enough. Let's pull this guy down. Let's pull this guy way up. So I'm just changing some of the length of these columns to provide some some different heights at different areas okay and these are all on a grid system so those are all kind of columns and of purposely and if you look at them they're going from um, level one with a just straight up I've made them slanted which is why they're able to grip and pull them um, and I've given them just basically stretch them around to different offsets if I go to say my level two okay they're all sitting on a grid system so let's tile the two views that I have open so I've got my my grid system over here and I've got my columns over here so we're talking about the 3d snapping okay so if I for instance in a 2d view and I go to draw a beam and I go to my structure tab and I draw a beam and I say okay good I'm on level two if I have my 3d snapping on and I start to draw starting at my level two and I click over here chain doesn't necessarily work so good with 3d snapping turned on but look at what's going on over here okay I'm picking on here okay so what the 3d snapping does is it enables you to draw oh that guy's off the grid that's okay um, to draw and snap to 3D points escape escape on the keyboard pick over here does that now right from within that same view over here if I draw the same thing and I start to draw beams and I take the 3D snapping off okay watch what happens when I go from here to here okay first of all you'll notice my chain works again but they're all going in at the same escape once to get out escape to get back in or click to get back in okay these guys are what takes place when there is um, no 3d snapping okay let's undo that back undo 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 Okay, so it just came straight across. Notice from here to here. Now back in the same place, start my beam tool again and turn the 3D snapping on and do exactly the same thing and go from here to here and from here to here and from here to here. And then midstream, I'll take the 3D snapping off and I'll start again and I'll go from here to here and all of a sudden. It's back to going straight across again. Little cleanup problem over here. So if I get rid of this guy, then that guy will carry on through. So um, without the 3D snapping, it just ignores the actual physical nodes of the columns and just basically goes according to whatever level or work plane you're on. So a couple of tips on when you're drawing beams and using the 3D snapping tool.